Hello and welcome back, fellow Diablo fanatics, to another episode of Purgatory, brought to you by Four Strategy Gaming. In this week's episode, we will be discussing the community site updates that took place over the course of last week, the Activision Blizzard conference call, the addition of the beta forums, future plans for guild and clan support, and then the leaked screenshots and video that we received last week. The official Diablo community site received a few updates last week, starting off with an update to the class resource systems. This was a post basically giving a quick rundown of all five classes, the resources they use, and how they should be expected to be played in the game. Now we also did make a video about this right here on the channel, so if you want to take a look at that you can certainly do so, otherwise head on over to the community site to go ahead and give that a browse. Are you looking to brush up on your Diablo history and are tired of waiting for the ever-elusive Diablo Lore Series Part 2 brought to you by Force? Well, I certainly don't blame you, and I strongly suggest taking a look at the Sin War Trilogy. Uh, Blizzard did make a post about this series of books, and this is actually going to help fill you in on all the happenings of the Diablo universe and get you ready for the installment of the third game. And lastly, Blizzard updated the community site with a beta opt-in FAQ. So if there's some major questions you're having about the beta, how to opt in, and what your chances are, anything like that, I would certainly suggest giving the FAQ a look. This is going to answer any of those major questions. Also, do keep in mind that in terms of how to register for the Diablo 3 beta, we made a video a little while back, and I'll actually go ahead and make sure that we link to that. If you have yet to opt in for the Diablo beta, I certainly suggest doing so. That's the only way to actually get a chance of getting in. They may be giving away keys at some point, it's really going to depend on the uh, contribution of the people who get into that first wave and rather, whether or not they stay consistent playing the beta, testing it out, and providing feedback. If there is a big drop, a high rate of attrition when it comes to the beta testers from the first wave, then they will be looking out to give additional keys further down the road. So certainly something I suggest doing. If you haven't opted in for the beta, please go ahead and do so. Late last week, Activision Blizzard did host a conference call referred to as Analyst Day in which they outlined their future and current plans for the company and what it means to both investors and analysts alike. While most of it was financial discussion, there was no major breakthrough or news on the Diablo 3 front. However, we did receive confirmation of, of plans for upcoming expansions. In fact, within the next three years, they do plan to release a Diablo 3 expansion. So even though the game has not yet been released, it is pretty exciting to know that they've got plans for expansions already in the works. In addition to that, there was some discussion about the fee system and how it relates to the auction house. Now, if you're looking for some further information about that, we did actually record that portion of the live conference call, and you can go ahead and take a look at that right here on the channel. Long and the short is that there will be transaction fees. This is something we have known in the past. There will be a flat fee associated with both posting and the uh, successful sale of an item, and if you try to actually withdraw an item into a third-party payment provider, there will actually be not a flat fee, but a percentage fee attached to that. So, uh, certainly some pretty interesting updates. If you haven't been following closely, go ahead and take a look at those videos. I present to you yet another sign of the beta. Both the beta feedback and the beta bug report forms have been added to the official Diablo 3 community site. Now this is certainly very exciting and obviously uh, leads us to believe that they're getting very, very close to starting the beta officially. We are also under the assumption that the friends and family beta is currently taking place. There have been posts in both the beta feedback and bug report forums. There have been topics created. Now in order to make a response or even create a topic, you do need a beta client. So this obviously leads us to believe that someone out there is currently in possession of the Diablo 3 beta client, and again, we are under the assumption that it is through the friends and family program. While we are still waiting on official word from Blizzard that the program has started, it is safe to assume that that is certainly the case. Also keep in mind that any topics that were created were erased shortly thereafter, so certainly something to ponder. Blizzard does have plans to add clan and or guild support into Battle.net 2.0 for all of their games attached to it. This would of course mean StarCraft, Diablo, and Warcraft. Now currently, during the release of Diablo 3, it doesn't look like we're going to have those systems in place, although they are looking to add it later down the road. Uh, do keep in mind that, especially with a game like Diablo 3, where there are no really large events, especially given the fact that you can only have three other players in any given game with you, clan and guilds don't really become as necessary as they are in, say, 
a game like World of Warcraft where you do need large groups of people to do things. Many people are saying that the friends list is more than adequate uh, besides any additional possible perks or maybe achievements where if you're in a clan and the clan as a whole uh, does this and that you can get achievement unlocks. I would like to hear your thoughts and opinions below as whether, whether or not you think a clan or guild system is necessary in a game like Diablo and why. Last week, we did receive some leaked screenshots and video from the Diablo 3 beta client. Now, it does appear that this is actually coming from an ex-Blizzard employee who did leak both the character creation screen and a couple of in-game screenshots, as well as a screenshot of the Blizzard Diablo 3 downloader. Now, this leaked footage really didn't amount to much, and we didn't see much more than we already knew, except I would say the launcher itself. Also, a very notable thing was the fact that there is a logout timer, so if you want to log out of Diablo 3 it actually takes X amount of time you cannot simply save an exit and be done with it uh, so this is going to make it a little more difficult assumedly for hardcore characters who would be trying to exploit the fact that you can just leave the game instantly but but anyways we did make a video about this uh, leaked screenshots and video footage so if you haven't seen that yet go ahead and take a look at it um, hopefully we won't have to rely on leaked footage anymore in the near future once the beta does officially start Alright guys, well that pretty much does it for this episode of Purgatory. As always, I thank you so much for watching. The beta every week gets so very close, and obviously we're getting closer and closer to release. Still hoping for that 2011 December release, really no way of knowing for sure, but I'm sure as we get closer to BlizzCon, we will be getting closer to an announcement date, and again, just another thing that we have to wait and see for. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel, and as always, keep watching and keep owning.